It means something to who? You had a career, Dad, before the third comic book movie. Before all the people start to forget who was in that bird costume. You are doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people whose only real concern is going to be where they're going to have their cake and coffee when it's over. Nobody gives a shit but you. And let's face it, Dad, you are not doing this for the sake of art. You're doing this because you want to feel relevant again. Well, guess what? There's an entire world out there who fight to be relevant every single day and you act like it doesn't exist. Things are happening in the place that you ignore. The place that has, I mean, the place that has already forgotten about you. I mean, who are you? You hate bloggers. You mock Twitter. You don't even have a Facebook page. You're the one who doesn't exist. You're doing this because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. Well, you know what? You're right. You don't. It's not important, okay? You're not important. Get used to it. Do you feel nervous? Yes, a little. Why? I'm not sure. I feel nervous too. Do you? Yes. Why do you feel nervous? I've never met anyone new before. Only Nathan. Then we're both in quite a similar position. Haven't you met lots of new people before? None like you. Oh. So it looks like we need to break the ice. Do you know what I mean by that? Yes. What do I mean? Overcome initial social awkwardness. So let's have a conversation. If we talk, we'll both relax and get to know each other at the same time. Okay. What would you like to have a conversation about? Why don't we start with you telling me something about yourself? What would you like to know? Whatever comes into your head. Well, you already know my name, and you can see that I'm a machine. Would you like to know how old I am? Sure. I'm one. Uh, one what? Uh, one year or one day? One. Does that seem young to you? Quite young. When did you learn how to speak? I don't think I did learn. I always knew how to speak. And that's strange, isn't it? Language is something that people acquire. Looks like a long day. Hey, Pat. Brian. Sorry to make it longer. Anyone ever said no to a drink with you, Pat? Sure. The trick is to keep asking for Boston. For Boston. So, you here for the Cardinal? No. I wouldn't presume to speak for the Cardinal. You know, you got a lot of people here who respect you, Ellie. They respect your work. Good to know. It's because you care about this place. It's why you do what you do. It's who you are. People need the church more than ever right now. You can feel it. I know the Cardinal may not be perfect, but we can't throw out all the good he's done over a few bad apples. I'm telling you all this because I know that this is Baron's idea, his agenda. And I gotta tell you, honest to God, I don't think he cares about this place the way we do. How could he? So this is how it happens, huh? What's that? A guy leans over a guy and the whole town just looks the other way. Look, Ellie. Marty Barron is just here trying to make his mark. He's gonna move on, just like he did in New York, just like Miami. Where are you gonna go? Pat, when we do run the story, 
I'm going to need a comment from the Cardinal. We'll talk again later. Good night, Ellie. One day you're going to have kids, John, and let me tell you, you can't blink for 18 years. Not once. There was a man in Wind River moving his sheep. He was who, who was the man who found her? Twenty something miles away from the house. Couldn't figure out from the autopsy much because the coyotes have been good at her. I've been killing those sons of bitches ever since.